Okay. Does the CPU affect ray tracing performance at the same resolution? Okay. Uh, based on Spider-Man's remastered requirements, where if you want to run ray tracing, they recommend the same GPU, so a 3070, but recommend a change in CPU from the 3060 to the, the 3070, uh, 3700X. So I think they're saying without ray tracing, the Ryzen 5 3600 is okay, but if you want to yep. use ray tracing, I think so. you need the Ryzen 730. Okay. But the GPU requirements stay the same, apparently, for both presets. Right. Okay. Which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one as well because, generally speaking, those two CPUs in like the same game, the the thirty seven hundred X is just it's either faster or it's not. Like unless you enable a specific setting that utilizes more cores. So are they saying ray tracing will utilize more cores if available? Yeah, because the general cache performance and frequency is very similar between those two parts. I guess what they're saying, perhaps the game does utilize eight cores, but on a 3700X, it might only utilize them to, say, 50 or 60%, but if you enable ray tracing, the percentage goes up. Mm. So it's sort of a... Because I don't, I don't want to make it yeah. a core thing. I, I don't want to confuse the subjects as a core thing. It's more of an overall CPU yes. performance so, thing. F- well, first of all, ray tracing does increase the cpu load Mm -hmm. because parts of the ray tracing things that need to go on the algorithm if you want to call it that uh there there are some cpu components to that so yes if you had the gpu power to run the you know the ray tracing effect with no impact then your cpu requirements would go up the thing i find interesting about that um requirements section is that Ray tr- enabling ray tracing is much more likely to bottleneck you on the GPU before uh, the yeah, CPU. Yeah. So by keeping the GPU requirements the same, the 3070, are they saying that enabling ray tracing has no hit to GPU performance? Because that would be extremely surprising. Mm. It's very likely to cause a significant impact to GPU performance. Now, they may be saying, well, you're going to be running the game either natively with no ray tracing or potentially ray tracing plus upscaling, Mm -hmm. which could balance that a bit and then maybe cause that increased CPU load that they're talking about. But that would be a weird way to set out the the system requirements Mm. because you'd think that you'd also use upscaling for non-ray tracing if that feature was available because, Mm -hmm. you know, we've shown many times that DLSS and other technologies can benefit you even with ray tracing disabled. So... Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, that one. Mm. I would have said they should have gone the other way and said that you should be upgrading your 3070 to like a 3080 for ray tracing and keeping the CPU the same because you're much more likely to be GPU bottlenecked. Well, look, we, as you said, it can in, uh, enabling ray tracing can increase the CPU's yes. load. Yep. I think the takeaway here is that that can happen, but also with ray tracing enabled, you don't require eight cores because I think some people will see that they recommend six cores without ray tracing yep. than eight cores with ray tracing. That is not what this suggests at all. Uh, it suggests that you need that level of CPU performance. So a Ryzen 5 5600X is definitely a better gaming CPU than the 3700X. So uh, my assumption here would be that the 5600X would still be faster than the 3700X, despite the fact that it's six cores versus eight cores with uh, ray tracing enabled. Anyway, yep. that'll be probably something interesting to benchmark and check out when we can.